Sometimes it's just tough to keep things in focus. What am I talking about? Well, if you have a diode laser, you're going to want to stick with me because we're going to jump into this and I'm going to explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this new design with you guys. So a while back, you might remember, I switched from the standard lens up here to the G8 lens over here. Now, the one thing is it didn't have a carrier or a good means to insert it into the laser housing and focus it on my ortho laser. So with that being said, I set out with a 3D printer to design a solution. Now, I did a couple solutions, but one of the challenges that I had, especially with FDM, is the fact that this is a 9mm with a .5 pitch on it. So it's a very fine thread. So I turned to Fusion 360 and modeled a solution. However, the problem with an FDM printer, especially the .4 nozzle, is I could not even come close to resolving the uh, .5mm pitch on, on the uh, part. So one of the things I did is then I just designed a blank part, which is this one right here, which I have the lens inserted into. Now I made this a bit of a step so the the unit or the casing would go in there uh, somewhat straight and then what I put uh, this end piece on which came with it on the back side of it and then what I did is I put it into a, a vise and I ever so gently pushed it together to kind of press fit it in there and it's worked out pretty good. Now, one of the things you might be saying, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, why didn't you just repurpose the old one, uh, which is kind of interesting, because it does have an O-ring to seal this off. And you kind of see, now, I have one of my uh, rings, which I designed earlier, that go around and fit the outside to make it larger, so you can get your hand on it to focus it. But the problem is, is even though that these are the same thread pitches, the way that this is designed, this barrel is designed, it will not receive the G8 lens, which I got, which is kind of crazy. Easy, but it is what it is so this is a pretty good solution it's still a little bit loose fit but it does recess it in because as you can see here between the two kind of goes up in there if I get this in, in frame and get it in focus uh, you can kind of see so anyways it's been working out good for me I'll have it out on Thingiverse uh, along with the link to the lens so if you want to switch up which I highly recommend best 20 bucks I spent for this laser um, it's out there for you to grab for free. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you got any questions or suggestions, hit me down in the comments below. Now, I'm going to try this in the future on my SLA printer, my Elgu Mars. The only thing with the Elgu Mars, I really love the printer, but anything you do in the SLA space just takes so much time versus the uh, uh, you know FDM because I can basically throw this on the printer, uh, go off, do something else, you know, pop it off and go right to work rather than having to clean it up, cure it, pour the resin back into the vat, clean up that whole thing. Uh, so, but I will do one in the future and show you. So, oh, uh, which reminds me, I will put the fully modeled one out. So if you want to use it uh, with your SLA printer, go ahead. I do not recommend it for an FDM. I would say this one. So I'll prefix one with SLA and one with FDM, and that's how you'll know. So cheers, swag shop, subscribe over there, big like, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on